Hi, welcome to my Arca Linux 8.6 edition. Here we have not put any ISO online because of issues with the kernel and the virtual box, but you can always build it yourself. And that's what I've done. I've built it and then burned it to a USB, boot it up and installed it. Now what Arc Linux also is special about, one of its selling points is that when people have issues, we immediately um, take action. In this case, there was somebody says, hey, the Arc Linux B, BSPWM, what you see down here, I cannot build it and uh, please advise. So we have uh, changed it already. We've uh, already um, corrected it and we have built it. So it's ready to rock and roll here. So this is a new machine. And it's also a good thing to see what happens on a new machine when Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager is not set in any way. So there's nothing uh, set. So let's go ahead and show you BSPWM and set everything up. So a new one, what I use these days is a template. So I set everything right and then I can copy paste later on. But on Arch Linux 64 bits, next set up our memory size which is more or less half next create to save a little bit of space and i'm dropping down from 30 gigabytes to 25 which seems to be enough and then create and then we get this look we get have to click on this one to see more so the details and then go to the settings because a lot of things need to be set as well here I share these guys, even if it doesn't work, I share it anyway. I never know when we're going to need it and things kick in and it will work. Then the processor, we're just using one core. So I'm saying no, use four cores. We have eight cores to divide over two systems, the host, which is Arc Linux, and the guest, which is inside. Um, well, your machine, your virtual machine. We'll you can enable features, it's, uh, voila, that's it, you read it, and maybe interesting, but most of the time it doesn't matter really. Enable 3D acceleration, you can do that as well. If available, it will use it. And the video memory, I give more or less the middle, more or less. And for the rest, everything stays the same. So now I have this template and now with this template, I can make a quick clone and say this time I'm going to install Arch Linux B BSPWM. BSPWM. So that's how we help our users. We fix things and test it out immediately if everything is right. So we have this Arc Linux B built, Arch ISO out. This is just created a few 30 minutes ago and then we say open up start it up it's on the other screen and we get rid of all these messages so this thing read it of course and then click on it maximize it with control f another thing to read you just read it so right control and f is important for you to remember to full screen enter it Clear, read of course, and then Arch Linux B, BSPWM, is launched. So that's the new look. We have done a lot of work up in June with these Arch Linux B things. So we have 10 desktop environments that are built upon Arch Linux. The only issue today is that we have this issue with um, VirtualBox and the kernel that's in here. But if you just stick to some tips here, we can just install it even on VirtualBox. So we erase everything. Installing on SSD hard disk will work always. No VirtualBox in there. Just made a tutorial about resetting passwords. One of the times I just typed twice the same mistake, the same 
passwords and when I logged in I could not uh, update for instance so yeah it's important to see that your password is correct but there is a tutorial let's make some um, advertisement for the last video I made Control alt firefox and go to the website it is of course a bummer if you've installed everything and then you can't remember the password and here's the article so if something goes wrong do check articlelinux.com of course the forum and all the other websites but mostly the fixes in this case how to reset the password of your Arch Linux system and if you see what you have to know five lines that's it you reset your uh, password for your account two accounts eric and root and that's it basically so it's very 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 easy follow the tutorial and reset the password that's what i've done by the way i've made this video on the live dvd so i was wondering if that was possible and i'm so proud of this so check it out if anything terrible happens to your system go check out the forum go check out maybe also discord a lot of people helping there um, so that's great starting to become a real community here let's pause the video here and wait for the installation and everything is installed we restart xfc is being used as a delivery system we don't see any of our arc linux b desktops inside the live dvd but only if you install everything now at this point in time end of june we have to be aware of difficulties with virtualbox and well the linux kernel so control t we are basically on 4.70.2 and if we have problems with our system with um, well freezing up things that freeze up then it might be a problem with you it depends what element what system we have what Arch Linux B does so we'll just have to evaluate if anything well if any problems arise with BSPWM at this point in time I do not see any problem um, let's uh, install something super f2 atom is being loaded show welcome okay now it's becoming unresponsive so yeah even bsp wm has issues and now we can click here but we can't type in the terminal anymore we can kill stuff and we can open things back and type again but sometimes everything freezes again so we have a solution for that and let's include this in the video well if you have a 4.70.2.1 dash one installed like up here then you have an issue and the solution is to check out what you have there is the bin folder you see it and then we navigate to the bin folder we have nice little stuff let's make some publicity for the space invaders yay that's a new script that we have launched and then that's just for fun of course uh, learn learn enjoy and have fun right so that's the fun part but inside this main folder is something i need install the lts kernel and installing the kernel an old, another kernel not version 4.70.2 but 4.14.52-1 that's the one that's going to keep me out of trouble in virtualbox again you don't have to go to lts if you're on ssd or hard disk it's just a virtual box thing just for now until the updates come in so if you want a responsive system again we need to reboot and linux lts is already there 
So I will... There's no auto login at this point in time. If you want to, you need to edit etc litm litm.conf and tell to auto login. But that's not the point. The point is to test if it works. So this is the kernel now, LPS. We are at 100,116 packages here. And we'll just try super F2. Atom is being loaded. Here I'm going to click, see that clicks. Yep, that works. Uh, yes, I want to build proof. Welcome guide. Build this as well. And in super F3, that's that application, super F4. We have this application loading up in uh, workspace 4. It's, I believe, tags they call that. And here we launch melts. And you see that everything just works. Everything is clickable. Everything still works. I ask the file manager. Works. And control alt return still works. Do I need to update anything? Still works. So, as you can see, the only thing well, there is something new sshfs. So, there you go. This is, uh, is Arch Linux BSP WM. I do recommend you give it a try. I just made a picture and that was on Google Plus, I think it was, and the the amount of RAM it uses is incredibly low. Of course, I have a lot of applications open now, but you should check it out. It's very low in RAM consumption and very fast and, um, well, a nice desktop environment if you want to take, take your computer for a spin and a lesser known desktop environment. All right, cheers.